Hey, this is Eric, and in this video we are looking at a Google Sheets template that uses emojis to teach addition and subtraction. Emojis can be a fun and creative tool for educational activities. In the past, I've shared lots of ideas on how emojis can be used in your classroom for student creativity and learning. Some of these projects have included random emojis for writing prompts, Emoji Rebus Stories in Google Docs with a Halloween theme, a Valentine's theme, and a wintertime theme, as well as using emojis to explore character emotions from a story, using emojis to create pictographs, and much more. Another use for emojis is teaching math concepts. Emojis can be used to model quantities so students can learn about, explore, and practice addition and subtraction with concrete representations of the numbers. For example, adding two smiley faces plus three smiley faces, or subtracting four rocket ships from seven rocket ships can make the math more understandable for students. To help with this, I have created a Google Sheets template that lets students choose the emoji that they want to work with and then practice addition and subtraction problems while at the same time getting conditional formatting feedback to let them know if they got the answer correct or not. In this video, we'll take a look at how to get your own copy of this template and how to use it with your students. First, to get your own copy of the template, simply go to bit.ly slash kurtz emoji math. There you'll find a link to make your own copy as well as detailed directions. Once you get your copy, you can work on it directly or you can use Google Classroom to make copies to push out to your students or Use it however you wish. Now let's take a look at the template itself. The template consists of six tabs across the bottom. The first tab is the Directions tab, where you'll find instructions on how to use this Google Sheet for this activity. The next two tabs are Addition 1 and Addition 2, where students will be able to practice adding numbers. Then we've got Subtraction 1 and Subtraction 2, where students will be able to practice subtracting numbers. And finally, we have the Emojis tab with a list of all available emojis that the students can use for their math problems. You are free to add, remove, and edit the emojis in this tab as desired. So let's take a look at how to use this sheet for students to practice adding and subtracting numbers. First, in the top left corner of any of the Addition or Subtraction tabs, the student is able to click on the drop-down menu and choose which emoji they want to use. This is the emoji that will be displayed when representing the numbers in the math problems on that tab. Next, the students will type in the two numbers that they want to add or subtract in the first and second boxes. For example, we could do 5 plus 6, or 8 plus 2, or 9 minus 4, or 10 minus 3. After the student types in their numbers for the problems, the Google Sheet will help visualize those numbers by automatically displaying the amount of emojis below the first and second boxes. So what's the difference between addition 1 and addition 2 and subtraction 1 and subtraction 2? Well, the tabs for addition 1 and subtraction 1 provide some additional help for the student by modeling not just the numbers they're adding or subtracting, but also modeling the answer. The sheet will display emojis to visualize the sum or the difference of the two numbers below the third box. The student can use the emojis in the final answer to help determine the answer to the addition or subtraction problem. 
On the other hand, addition 2 and subtraction 2 provide less help by not modeling the final answer yet. Instead, the student will have to determine the answer by looking at the emojis under the first and second boxes. On any of the tabs, if the student types in the incorrect answer in the third box, the third box will turn red to indicate that they have entered the incorrect answer. The student will need to look at the emojis again to rework the problem. Once the student types in the correct answer, the third box will turn green to indicate that they have entered the correct answer. To do a new problem, the student can simply delete the three numbers they have typed in and start all over again for a new problem. Now remember, you are able to change the emojis that are available for the students to select from. If we go to the Emojis tab on the Google Sheet, you'll see the current emojis that are available. You can delete any of the emojis here that you would like or add new ones. You can get emojis from many sources, but one of my favorites is Emojipedia. When you go to Emojipedia, you can search for or browse any of the categories to find an emoji that you'd like. Once you've found one, simply copy the emoji, go back over to the Emojis tab in our spreadsheet, and paste it in. That emoji will now be available for the student to choose when they are doing their problems. And that's it. Using this template, the students can practice addition and subtraction problems with numbers up to 30, since that's how many emojis can fit in the boxes. The emojis will give them concrete visual representations of their numbers, helping them understand the quantities being added or subtracted. And the color-coded feedback helps the students know if they got the answer correct or not. And for all of my other educational technology resources, be sure to visit my site at controlaltachieve.com. Follow me on social media and subscribe to this channel. Thanks so much and take care.